What's up, my fellow Psychedets? This is Sansite91, back once again for some more Let's Play Psychonauts. In the last part, we finished up our basic braining training. Now we're going to finally get our dousing rod, because I did some grinding off screen. Pretty much if you want to get a lot of Psycho... <laughs> arrowheads, I'll just say arrowheads, just go back to... Let's go back to the kids' cabin area and keep on exiting and, and entering, because they respawn. Anyway, let's buy that dousing rod. Hey, where's my hamburger? Bye. Just kidding. I just want to buy stuff. Don't push me, Sonny. I can reach you with this spatula. Yeah, it doesn't really say Ooh, that's anything my last that different. Duster. Anyway, yeah, I also forgot to mention mind, that everything also has Ooh, a rank requirement. Duster. Take so you that have to be mind level with 20 in order to use certain up. things. Happy to be rid of the wind. And, other, mm, and otherwise now, you need to be hit rank 10 to get this. Damn it! That I so I guess now. that was kind of pointless, but... We'll find stuff in order to level us ourselves up. Like those cards. And also we can get some cores, because those don't need a requirement. Now this place is pretty much the biggest area in order to find... Side cards. I think I missed one up there. Oh, well, I get it when I get back up. These are strewn throughout the entire place, and they're just throwing, it, throwing them at us. Here we have 18, which means we can get two cores, and it'll make two challenge markers. And also, if you use these things, they pretty much just get you a little bit of humor, but not much backstory. Goodbye, cool camp. I'm tired of being picked on by Bobby and all the mean kids at camp. If I just had one friend here who was nice, then I would stay. But you're all mean, and no one stands up for me, so I'm going home. I'll be in the parking lot waiting for my dad. So if you want to pick on me one last time, you'd better hurry. Malou. Yeah, like I said, they don't do very much. They just give you a little bit of humor. The camp kids telling each other how they feel about each other. And all that other jazz. But, I believe we should be able to get up there, through that hoop, and we should be able to get that card. Yes! And unfortunately, we're not able to leave Whispering Rock, because we don't want to leave. Otherwise, our father will take us back to the circus! Yeah, big surprise, he's from the circus. I mean, no other person could be able to move like that, and they just have it sitting on a stump, for Christ's sake. That's how easy they are. But they will be harder to get. Unfortunately. Let's see what rank. Still six. Well, I haven't done anything worthy of getting any rank, so... I think we should move on to finding Sasha's secret lab. Okay, and also, call me crazy, that but I have just got to sell more side course today. So yes, these prices are real. Here at the camp store, side cores are just that. No one cheap cares today. about your prices, old man. You're nuts. Completely nuts. Yeah, we'll figure out who that is later on in the game. But until then, we're stuck with an enigma. Hey, there's Lily. Hey, Lily, do you know where Sasha 9's secret lab is? Secret? It's printed on your map. Duh. Oh, I knew that. I was just curious if you knew where Sasha 9's lab was. Because I do. Uh-huh. Smooth, Raz. Very smooth. As smooth as jagged glass. But anyway, I, uh, I know where his lab is. It's over here in the wilderness. Let's go. Seems that we're in the woods. Hey, you're that new kid, ain't you? Well, I'm doing some advanced training right now, as a matter of fact. So I don't think new kid is really a name that you want to get too used to saying. Well, hold on there. You're not doing Sasha 9's advanced training that he does in his secret underground lab, are you? Hidden deep within the iron walls of the GPC, where no one can hear you screaming? Why, yes, I am. Sakes alive! Well, nice knowing you. No, I won't be going anywhere. 
No torture chamber is going to get a hold of me. something else. You don't smell like pond scum. Nice. You should write greeting cards. There was some sort of shadowy being out there. Lurking. Watching. I know of only one creature who fits that description. It likes to hide in dark places, silently watching unsuspecting children from a distance. Really? Who? You, tree sitter! <laughs> Everything becomes a practical joke. Especially when it comes to Raz. But, but it was kind of funny. He was kind of asking for it, so I'll give her one pass on that one. I'll buy that for a dollar. Anyway, this is pretty much the most useless item in the game, the crow feather. All it does is make people laugh. That's it. It is not essential to the story whatsoever. Why do I pick it up? Well, I feel like completing something. Hello, golden acorn. Mine! You little rat bastard. Yeah, you need a special power in order to get past that squirrel. Otherwise, you'll keep on taking your... You'll keep on taking your nut. Nope, still won't budge. Yeah, you need to pop this skull right out of the hole. Nope. Still won't budge. Yes, another special power for that. See where I'm coming from here? We can go up three ranks with this. Bear! Watch out for the wildlife in this place because it will murder you. All the animals within the, within the forest will attack you and they all have special powers. Like the bears have t telekinesis. It's quite strange, but this is a strange game, so what are you really asking for? Oh god, get out of here. Let's see, where to go next? Up here, maybe? Hello? That looks like fun! It's work! I'm testing a low orbit space plane design. Oh great, more crazies! Pretty much everyone in this whole entire place, except for maybe Raz, is nuts. In one in one way or another. Seems we have stumbled on a lot. A lot of cards. They're just handing them out to us. That's what it feels like anyway. I'm already up to 34. Ooh, a challenge marker. I'll have to get that. And that one's probably the easy one of the easier ones to get. All I got do is jump over here and go inside the house. And collect it. Collect it. And we're at rank seven. To get out, all I gotta do, jump out. Just jump on the table and you'll be fine. I saw Nils oh god, into more conversation. In the girls no! Let's see what else is around here. More Cytanium arrowheads, more cards. Lots and lots of cards. Someone's crying up there. Someone wet the bed. Come on. What is this thing? It's a GPC, a geodesic psychoisolation chamber. Oh man, cool! Cool? Do you have any idea what this does? Something cool? Uh, no. It's a six sensory deprivation tank, a hermetically sealed metaphysical hotbox. It's solitary confinement for psychics. Nasty. And the coach locked you inside it? Nah, 
The staff hasn't put any kids in the GPC since the 50s. Bobby threw me in here. Bully and dwarf accomplice should assault own size or larger only. While in cooler, perhaps notice gigantic bear with skin where hair should be? I didn't see anything in there. That's the whole point. Hmm. Just so. Empty now. Good luck, small ones. Hey, wait! Oh, it looks like the little guy's making a friend. Everyone should have at least one friend. And let's get inside. Hmm. Looks like one of the buttons is missing. And something tells me that those loose strings should not be holding up like that. So, let's use the button. Gentlemen, we have found the underground lab. Let's go. Agent 9, I'm here for the advanced training. I must say, I love the steps. Kind of trippy in a way. And there's another one of the souvenir items. That one's not too hard to get. Just jump over here. And it's just a nice little jump over to the fossil. I do believe there's a few cards around here. I think one of them's on the ground. Yep, it's right there. Yep. So what are we gonna learn? And we have another. Oh God. Learn bending spoons. Get four stuff? levels right now. So well, let's talk to Sasha. I've been hearing a lot about head explosion, and I was wondering. Science, Rasputin. That is what we practice down here, not parlor tricks. If you are serious about exploring the possibilities of your mind, step up to the brain tumbler and we'll begin. Brain tumbler? I'm not too sure exploding someone's head would be considered a parlor trick. But anyway, we gotta check out this stump that's in his lab. Welcome to the Whispering Rocket Underground Rapid Transit System. Would you like to go back to your private sanctuary now, Agent Krella? Or somewhere else? Pretty much this thing will take you anywhere in the whole entire camp. Considering you've already been there before. And let's go to the main lodge. I'm gonna get me some psychors. Drop me outside the main lodge. Oh, bring me back a burger this time, will you? Don't exactly know why it has a female voice, but I'm not complaining very much. Let's get to the store. I don't think there's any kind of limit of what you can buy, so don't worry about running out of room or anything. Now, you take that Excellent choice. Else Thank God, there are only about ten arrowheads. Sold to the big-headed kid with the gloves. What else gonna do you I'll for? And I could always get more arrowheads, the so there's no the big worry or anything. What else gonna do you for? Now, then again, I should only get three, because then I'd be put it to that high enough rank to get this. It all works out. So I gotta think of what you're gonna do, what you're gonna spend, how you're gonna spend it, those kinds of things. Yep. Let's get back to the hole. Where would you like me to take you, Agent Crap? Uh, let's go to Fords. I mean, my sanctuary. What else? Let's go to Fords. I mean, my sanctuary. Yes, noble psycho master. Sir, I thought I recognized you in my dream, but I couldn't be sure. Now that I see you in your element, there's no doubt. You're Ford Cruller, the greatest leader the Psychonauts ever had. 
Ah, you shouldn't believe everything you read in True Psychic Tales magazine. And it would seem that this guy, poor crawler, is the greatest psycho master ever. Uh, what are you doing here at Whispering Rock? What are you doing here at Whispering Rock? This trading facility is built right smack on top of the largest titanium deposit known to man. It runs under this whole valley and makes this a very critical area for the Psychonauts. So I'm here to look after it and to make sure you little spoon benders don't kill each other. What's titanium? Titanium is a very rare psychoreactive mineral that crashed here on a meteorite hundreds of years ago. It responds to psychic waves, focuses them, amplifies them. It can make psychics more psychic, but it can also make unstable people more unstable. Not everyone can handle that much activity in that part of their brain. It can drive them completely out of their gourd. Gives this valley an interesting history. Hmm? I saw you raking leaves. Was that a disguise? Uh, yes. Well, God, I have many disguises. It, it helps me keep an eye on you kids wherever you go. <laughs> now, <clears throat> when I'm in disguise, I may pretend not to recognize you. Don't blow my cover, okay? Say no more. Your secret identity is safe with me. So, what mission are you on down here? Well, from here, I can monitor world events, look for signs of psychic terrorism, ripples in the astral plane. And then fly out and save the day, right? You've got a jet hidden here somewhere, I'll bet. Well, you know, these days I'm really just more of a, a dispatcher. I spot the trouble and send out a, a, a younger agent, like Mia or Sasha. Or maybe you someday. What does all this equipment do? Well, up here, it's all intel. Down that hallway is the observation room. No tests going on in there right now. Maybe later. And beneath us, I have special machines for rebuilding side challenge markers and detangling mental cobwebs. You should go familiarize yourself with those. They'll come in pretty handy for you. I guess we better get going. I'd better go. Lots of work to do. Good luck, Rasputin. Thanks. I'll need it. Don't worry. I'll be right here with you. Inside your head. My head? Yep. I want to keep my eye on you, son, so I'm going to be a psychic stowaway inside your noggin. If you ever want to make me appear, you can do it with this special device. Is that a piece of bacon? Oh, yeah. I just love bacon. I smell that stuff, but I can't help it. I drop everything and come running. Okay. Do you have, like, a little baggie or something I could put this in? You get a move on or I'll eat that right here. Yes, he comes to you with the power of bacon. Crazy man, crazy man. Anyway, let's get familiar with this machine. Get down. Now, before you go electrocuting yourself, let me tell you how these babies work. Now, this beauty here is a mental cobweb detangler. Oh, I know what those are. Mental cobwebs are... You see, when an area of your psyche is neglected for too long, mental cobwebs form. Now, up in the camp store, they sell a very special device known as a mental cobweb duster. You can take a projection of it into the mental world with you and use it to extract any cobwebs you find. The duster stores the cobweb's psychic energy on the real world side. So, you can take what you collect back here, hook it up to the loom, and weave that tangled mess into something useful. Like a card from a side challenge marker, which brings us to this fella over here. You put nine side cards into this guy, along with one side core, also sold in the company store for a nominal fee, and it will kick out a bona fide side challenge marker, which will earn you a promotion to a higher rank. Rank up enough, you'll earn new psychic abilities. You got it? Put my mental cobwebs in there, and my side cards and cores in there, and soon I'll be able to burn stuff. Yep, basically. Have fun. Jesus, one long-winded explanation after another. Here we have another card. I do believe he only has two in here, so no nothing to wrap your head around. And just press Y, and let's get this over with. Psychor goes in, and also do nine cards. 
You're going to be doing this a lot, by the way. Psy power earned. I do believe you get a new power every time you go by 10, 30, and 50. So it just goes up by 20. And let's see what it is. In recognition of your hard work, dedication, and mental agility, I'm proud to bestow upon you the official merit badge for Pyrokinesis. Cool. I can't wait to burn. Hey, what are we doing here? Inside your mind. Well, I thought you'd like to be in a familiar place for your first pyrokinesis lesson. Lesson? Shh, now, now, I think of something you'd like to burn. Ah, oh, yes, I heard you were raised in the circus. Uh, but why would you want to burn all these happy memories here? If they were happy memories, I wouldn't have run away. My dad, he hates psychics, and he knew I was becoming one. So all day long, he would force me to practice my acrobatics, hoping to distract me, or maybe hoping to kill me. I never was sure. Now why are you still talking when you could be burning stuff? Damn right. Well, we're learning a little bit more about Rasputin, and okay. let's start burning shit. Great, great, burn them all! All you gotta do is just You'll hold down the more. button, and Keep it'll going. go off by itself. Boom! Ooh, it's getting hot in here! Rasputin, lock your mental focus on this last one and hold it while you use your pyrokinesis power. Okay, it's a little toy. And it okay. goes boom. Excellent work. Fire is pretty. Okay, that's the end of the lesson. You're free to go, but you have to promise me, only use your power of pyrokinesis only when it's very, very important. Or it's really, really entertaining. <laughs> I promise. And if you're doing it to impress girls, make sure none of them have on a lot of hairspray. <laughs> oh god, that would create one hell of a nightmare, but I guess we can stop around here because I've been taking around like 20 minutes. So I'll see you guys next time for the next part in Psychonauts. The card right there. But well, we'll get that next time. I'll see you guys then.